In Ukraine, among the able-bodied population, there are about 9% of patients with knee joint pathology. Among patients with diseases in the area of the knee joint, 13 to 42 percent suffer from chronic pain syndrome osteoarthritis combined with degenerative changes in the meniscus of the knee joint is clinically characterized by a feeling of pain when walking stiffness and blocking of movements in the affected joint which invariably leads to a decrease in the quality of life and disability and subsequently to endoprosthetics the search for effective methods of conservative treatment remains an urgent goal of modern orthopedics. In an attempt to avoid operative treatment, patients with degenerative changes in the knee joint were offered a variety of conservative methods, such as weight loss, physical therapy, physical therapy, orthotics, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and intra-articular injections of hormonal anti-inflammatory drugs and hyaluronic acid. In general, the goal of each of these therapeutic methods is to temporarily reduce pain and improve function. Technologies of regenerative medicine, which are undergoing rapid development and aim to become an alternative to classical methods of treatment, have come to help with this problem. Prolotherapy is gaining more and more popularity, a modern direction of regenerative medicine which consists in the application of injection techniques with drugs of growth factors or substances that stimulate their local release. The introduction of these drugs, biotechnological products, leads to the launch of a cascade of immune reactions in the damaged area and stimulation of regeneration processes of damaged or degenerated. Joint changes of the studied products, PRP therapy, platelet-enriched plasma, and the combination with SVF, stromal vascular fraction, deserves special attention. The particular effectiveness of the application of these methods is manifested in stage 1 to 3 osteoarthritis of the knee joint and degenerative damage to the meniscus. In more complex cases, the effectiveness of the techniques decreases and in this case there is a need for total endoprosthesis or arthroscopic intervention with subsequent debridement of the joint and or suturing of the meniscus if possible. The effectiveness of the treatment process is ensured by the reduction of pro-inflammatory complexes in the middle of the joint, which prevents further vicious inflammation. The stimulation of neoangiogenesis i.e. the sprouting of microvessels around the joint structures, which helps to deliver building material for the restoration of damaged structures. The key effect is the stabilization of the immunochemical environment, which makes it possible to do, ideal, conditions for the most effective self-healing. SVF, stromal vascular fraction, in turn, gives cells that are able to integrate into the damaged meniscus and or cartilage of the joint and become a new functional unit. From international and our own research, we have come to the conclusion that the application of three PRP injections and the final application of SVF is a highly effective treatment method for degenerative changes of the knee menisci and all structures of the knee joint. The main advantages of this technique are safety, because only own cells are used. High efficiency and long-term effect are also key advantages that are not observed when using various tablet forms of drugs, injections of anti-inflammatory hormonal drugs. Single-use hyaluronic acid and even arthroscopic intervention using VAPR, and most importantly, this method does not require surgical intervention in the joint itself. Only an almost painless injection that extends the lifetime of the own joint and its internal structures, providing painless movement. The rehabilitation process after therapy lasts about two months with a gradual increase in functional load and the disappearance of pain and discomfort. How is the preparation of PRP and SVF obtained? 20 milliliters of blood is collected, prepared using specialized methods and equipment, 5 milliliters of concentrated platelet preparation is obtained and injected under sterile conditions under ultrasound control, almost painlessly, into the joint. After preparation with PRP, we use stromal vascular fraction, SVF. To obtain the stromal vascular fraction, SVF, in sterile conditions, 
100 to 150 milliliters of adipose tissue is taken. As usual, from the abdominal area, it is processed in a special system of Italian or American production, we get 10 to 30 milliliters of an effective drug, which is administered under ultrasound control into the joint, periarticular ligaments and tendons for best results. It is worth noting that thanks to one system, fractions can be obtained for the treatment of one to five joints simultaneously. During recovery, it is recommended to gradually strengthen the thigh muscles and develop the range of motion in the knee joint. And for support we use proven and highly effective drugs that will stimulate the regenerative processes of bone and cartilage tissue. Because not only local treatment is important for the musculoskeletal system of the body, as well as maintaining a healthy lifestyle, which includes proper nutrition and vitamin therapy with the use of a sufficient amount of minerals and natural preparations to balance inflammatory processes. In the modern world, orthopedics and traumatology are actively developing. Today, it is possible to postpone or avoid the operation due to the latest techniques. The use of PRP and SVF is highly effective for osteoarthritis and degenerative changes in the menisci of the knee joint, which safely, effectively, economically and long-term helps to get rid of pain and improve the function of the joint. The method is not a panacea for all diseases of the joints, tendons, bones and muscles, but is just another highly effective method for overcoming diseases of the musculoskeletal system and its consequences, which should be applied based on the experience and expertise of the doctor after establishing the true cause of the disease.